Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about when and what you should buy in Modern Masters 2017. So we don't know what is in the set, but I can guarantee you that there will be a Planeswalker and that Planeswalker will go down from the 12 and a half all the way down to the five and a half and before steadily going up. So I like Tezzeret's, I like his graft because it is very telling for the majority of mythics the majority of mythics are not the lilies, they're not the, the majority of rares are not the snapcaster mages. So there will be plenty of opportunity to get in at a good price and just wait and hold. So you should not buy pre-order. Pre-ordering singles is generally a losing. You will lose 95% of the time because pre-orders generally are the highest point for the next one year of that card perhaps forever of that card, especially in standard. So let's talk about the set Modern Masters 2015, which was less than two years ago. It is the set most akin to what's gonna happen in Modern Masters 2017. Modern Masters, the original Modern Masters was kind of a fluke. It was the first of its kind and they, they intentionally underprinted it. They knowingly underprinted it and it was a disaster from the supply demand aspect where you had people who raised the price of Tamagoy. If you had stores that could go to GP Vegas and actually singly control the price of a, a single card, which is crazy, right? That's absolutely crazy, but that's what they did because most of the supply was in Vegas. Anyway, uh, Tezzeret the Seeker is a very good I like $5 Planeswalkers. I especially like $5 Planeswalkers that have just been reprinted because they won't stay for $5 for very long. And Tezzeret, you can see a little bump in Shadows and then you can see another bump in Aether Revolt. But even if these bumps didn't happen, even if Aether Revolt wasn't a fun artifact set with artifacts Tezzeret could abuse, Tezzeret would still be at least $10 today. Just given that he's a Planeswalker, and he is a planeswalker that has seen reprint twice, one in a dual deck with Elspeth, and then one, well, I mean, in Modern Masters. Overall, the card is very good, it is very casual, and there will be plenty of cards that just tank to oblivion after, looks like 90 days from Origins, and then Battle for Zenkar, and then Oath. Let's say, Let's just say 90 to 180 days will be the price point where you can get in on this card relatively low and just hold to them. If you need cards, that's when you buy them 90 days to 100 days, 180 days out. Of course, this is based on what Modern Masters 2015 was. If you base it on what Eternal Masters was with the double, the double uh, set releases, that would be a very different graph because it would be like a camel. But overall, this is the graph I expect for the majority of the cards. And it is actually very, there will be cards that are pushed down way too low because the set expected value has to be the set expected value. If the set expected value was more money than opening a random uh, booster box would be worth, then you would have absolutely no booster boxes left. And that cannot be the scenario. Instead, stores, instead of selling booster boxes, or I guess they could raise the prices of that, but that would be foolish as we found with Eternal Masters, but maybe they don't learn. They would just open all, every single box and then just resell the singles online. That's what would happen, right? Because they're in the for profit business. So hopefully Modern Masters 2017 shapes out to be even better than 2015. 2015, I was not all that impressed with, especially given the fact that they had raised the booster pack to from $6.99 to $9.99, and that's a little worrisome. Um, right now, it's still $9.99, $9.99 a booster pack, but $10 is a lot for a pack of cards. That's not, I, I collect a lot of, baseball and football cards and basketball cards and some of these boxes are in the thousands of dollars but magic is not one of those things that you need to get autographs or you need to get the product the actual product of magic does not cost more money to get depending on what the card is 
So if you wanted a Michael Jordan autograph, you have to pay his fee. Even, uh, I, I believe, what's his name? Johnny Mandel or Johnny, Johnny Cass. Like, he's a big, big player. And Johnny Football... And he was signing autographs for a hundred dollars in Dallas and Austin, somewhere in Texas. And I should have gone because I do like him, and I don't have his autograph because his, he didn't sign that much after, oh, the uh, after he got released by the Cleveland Browns, which is kind of embarrassing. But nonetheless, it is what it is. Anyway, bye, guys. Mm -hmm.